Good morning guys, welcome to, I feel like Saturday, cause Sam is home. And I have to tell you guys more about that in a minute. Welcome to welcome. today's video. Uh, we have a new addition on the Day by Day Farm. Can you tell which one it is? I know it's difficult to see with the light on it, but this is the this is the first chick that hatched. This is the second. This is the third, and this is the fourth. And what's super interesting is that Sophie had a dream after the first one hatched. What did you dream, Soph? Two black ones and two white ones. Two black ones and two white ones. Dreams do come true, I promise. But anyways, welcome to today. These are tawny little silky breeds. We have actually a home already set up for them. We just hatched them because we wanted to see what we would get with our silky. I'm keeping the gray one. With our silky hen, who we love so much. Sophie's favorite is, which one's your favorite? It's the little rooster. It's the only one that we think is a rooster so far. It's him, and he is so freaking adorable. Mwah. Can you grab my favorite one? I kiss every single animal. Yeah, we kiss every single animal. No, I even kiss frogs. Yeah, Sophie even kissed frogs. Probably snakes too if they didn't bite. Yeah. And this is my favorite one, and she is the sweetest little thing. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That is just so cute. Like, look at how cute she is. She's going to be pure white, I think. I love her though. Oh my goodness, you're just the cutest baby. So those are our favorites. And this is the very first one that hatched. She's gonna be a paint like our little hen. She's got black spots all over her little body. See, she's got that black spots all over her little body. Yeah, she's, oh, God. I'm worried about her not having the silky feathers. They can sometimes have, cause they're a, they're a hybrid breed, but she, they can sometimes have favored the silky, silky feathers. She looks like a rooster to be honest. No, look at that tail. Look at that tail. But this tails, doesn't have a tail. yeah, usually the tails develop um, first on roosters. This morning, I was sitting on the chair that you're sitting on right now, and I heard brew cock and brew zoom. Yeah, she swears that that little rooster, that little chicken, she swears that little chick cock a doodle dude this morning, but there's just no possible way. He literally cock a doodle dude. What did he say? He said cock a doodle dude. <laughs> Well, just quiet. Others would believe you, Sophie, but I did not because I was here. You're mostly deaf. Yeah, that's true. Actually, actually, my hearing has gotten a lot better. My ears have cleared. Like I told you, it's an allergy every summer, and I started taking some allergy medication. I don't even have to take it every day, and they've this been good. This is Lulu. This is Lulu. She's the new one. She's the, not the prettiest one, but she's sweet. All of them have the five toes of the silky, except for my favorite that's one. Hard. She has five toes on one foot and four toes on the other. So five, four. Yeah, so weird. But anyway, we have plans today. Today is to get more chickens. Tuesday, and we are not getting more chickens. Chicken math is the same as horse math, you guys. But we are not. We are keeping our numbers down to a low amount because even though we're getting a new chicken coop, too many chickens is too much work. We love hatching them and we love seeing what we get when we breed them, but we are not having too many chickens. I know I say it a lot, but I say it so Sophie understands me. Not too many chickens, Sophie. Too many chickens. So Sam and Gabby have been in the horse field all morning. They're working on fencing, I think. Sam said that he bought some new fencing and is going to pick it up and I want to make sure what I'm supposed to drive. Hi. <laughs> Hi, big guy. You're so cute. Oh, man, I really need to clean my barn. I really need to clean my barn. I need a good rain day. And it was supposed to rain today. What's what's the plan for today? Oh. Sam hurt his back yesterday trying to get the thing out of the truck before they sell it. Yeah. So what's the plan for today? And the fencing? The fencing's good now. I changed the one wire and it's super powerful. I got shocked myself. Oh. So that's what the good horse people do. They check their fences all the time. I feel really bad for you. That thing there is that one wire is just a little bit weak. It's because the connector there. So. Are you picking up new fencing today? Yeah. Well, he wasn't available for two days? I don't know. He would just never respond to the emails and and then today I said I can come get it anytime. And he's like, okay, 
oh I was checking it over and I want this much for it instead of that much. Why? Did he say it was better than he thought? No, he just, I don't know, wanted more money. I said, no, I'll just go with the original plan of whatever I wanted to pay for whatever I wanted. Because he wanted to sell it all as a big bundle instead. And he goes, well, you know, you got to understand, I need to sell it all together. I'm like, fine. Stop wasting my time and go sell it all together. <laughs> wow. All right, so am I taking the car or the van? the van? All right, are you sure you're going to be okay? Yeah. Do you want me to use my massager or you got dirt all over your head or a bug? Do I? Probably a bug. Yeah, it was a bug. Alright. So I'm taking the van? Yeah. Alright, All right. and you're taking Gabby? Yeah. Help your dad because he's hurt. You'd be doing all the work with the yeah. crowbar and the fan. Crowbar? She, That's she, what I was doing last time. She loves that stuff. You love that stuff. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Bring me a coffee too, please. Let's see. Oh, I it, it it's beeping. I'm not even touching it and it's just yeah. Yep, that one's even more powerful. Yep. It's good. Oh, I love this little tester. It's so cool. So it is Tuesday. You guys probably already have guessed where Sophie and I are headed to her favorite place. Whenever we split up as a family, it almost always seems like Gabby goes with Sam because they're so much alike and then Sophie goes with me because we're so much alike. Sometimes we split it up. Sometimes we switch it up and we reverse the order. But Sophie doesn't like to like work on cars and Gabby actually does like to work on cars. So it usually makes sense for us to divide this way. What? Talking, you added another boy? I'm on call with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going on on mute now. Whoops. We left the car door open and now we have two visitors. They think they're going. You're not going. Bye. <laughs> All right, so for anyone who doesn't know, we are at the sales barn. It's a local barn where experience. farmers. I've been have bad experiences. So if he's had some bad experiences here. Um, with sheep. With sheep. <laughs> Anyways, this is a place where farmers take their livestock to be sold. It's a one day thing each week and every day different farmers bring like different animals and you never know what you're gonna find. I never want horses. They all, they ha so when you bring your animals to the sales barn, they house them in small little box areas, cows which is unfortunate. Yeah, cows obviously and horses get bigger areas. Um, and they stay there for a couple of hours until they're auctioned off. It's an auction house. Until they're auctioned off. Oh, that's and Sophie and I like to go. A lot of people like to go. I have a lot of teacher friends that come here with their with their families because it's such a learning opportunity for people who don't have an opportunity to be around okay, animals. Go, we get clay and divide. Wow, now that is a pig. That's a big pig. I would buy it. Yeah. I love pigs. They're stinky though. He stinks. Oh my goodness. Today is pig day, apparently. You're pretty cute though. Look at his eyes, he's so sweet. I found my ball. Yeah, there's a step and I always step on it. Oh, right here. A lot of pigs today. A Dalmatian pig. Baby pigs. <laughs> Not this one with one hand behind it. Lots of cows today. Look at the one behind it. Oh my goodness. You're the cutest! Aren't cows beautiful though? <laughs> the smell in here today is on a whole new level. Another baby cow, but look at that cute face. Be careful, sometimes the mama cows are cats. Yeah, sometimes the mama cows are like, get away from my baby. You're really cute. Yeah. I want these ones. These little redheads. The smell alone <laughs> would make me never want a pig. Aww. We love goats. Yeah. Okay, let's go down there. So sometimes when we come here, there's horses, and that's always why we come here. Before we owned horses, there were always horses here. And then once we owned horses, I think like a couple of years ago, just before COVID is the last time I saw a horse here, and they, I've seen a lot of minis here. A perfect example about how, of how goats always escape. Are you trying to escape, Mr. Goat? 
You're really cute. They're really friendly. I know. I love goats. Hello. Goats are literally my favorite. We fostered some goats in the past. All right, this is the honest to God truth, what we really come to see, what I come to see. Can you pick one up for me? I want that brown one. They Can are we beautiful. Can right we buy them? He's like, pick them up, pick them up. I'm like, I'm not picking them up. Hold on, here. <laughs> oh, got it. This is what we want. <laughs> it's so cute. It's really little, like, Really little, really the young. One's yeah, really cute. It's a boy or a girl. I don't know. You're really sweet. Look how small the brown one is. Yeah, the brown one's cute. See the umbilical cord hanging out? I bet you that's a boy. You want me to get that one? I'm laying down. Aww. Yeah. Put this one back and go that one. Oh, there's probably, they're probably bringing more goats in. You look scary. You guys look all we're in jail. We're in jail. All right, you guys are cute. What's your favorite kind of goat? The babies. <laughs> What's your favorite breed of goat? Like, you are big, but you're beautiful. I'm afraid of those horns. Oh, they're really cute, though. So, I like pygmy goats. I like every breed of every animal that's little. Yeah. I was trying to come a little bit later in the day because then all the animals here here. Sylvie's always like, let's go. <laughs> so we always end up here early before everything gets here. Do you want to go show them what the auction is like? Let's go show them what the auction is like. They're friendly. They're really friendly. The last goat that we had looked like him. That's that cow Sophie loves. Sophie is paranoid up here. <laughs> She's afraid. Oh, uh, it's terrifying on that bridge thingy going me. Yeah, it's terrifying to walk on a bridge for Sophie. But anyway, they sometimes have like a yard sale outside at the auction. Every time like we go to places, we always see like the cages. We love cages. But look at that, that's cute. What is it? I don't know. It's a bag. Yeah, it's cute, like a mermaid. And people sell puppies here. There used to be like a lot of animals being sold outside of the sales barn and we used to love the chicken guy. But he was getting older and his health got bad and I think that's maybe why he hasn't come. But I noticed that nobody with animals is outside now, so I don't know if they changed like rules or... I feel like I have asthma now because of the pig smell though. You know, they spend all morning. That was crazy. They spend all morning outside together. And then we come in here together, and it's like all heck breaks loose. Gracie. Uh, Gracie actually is trying to like protect the girls. No. Gracie no. Just head. no, I really do think she does because she tries to head the girls off and not let them go near Chino. It's just sad because all he wants to do is fit in. And you know what else is sad? Every other barn that we go, like when he's at our barn, he's the boss of, or when he's at like our lesson barn, he's the boss of everyone. And yet you put him in with a couple of girls. Maybe he doesn't want to get a girl in trouble. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I think he's just such a handsome man. So I'm planning to shoot a Q&A video this week, sometime this week. We have a lot going on. We have like a horse show. Sam is buying a new truck and just so many things happening. Um, but I want to try and shoot a Q&A. So if you guys, I've already posted it, but if you guys want to post your burning questions, things that you honestly want to know about us that we've never really answered before, go ahead and post your questions in the, in the comment section and I'll try and pick as many as I can and we're going to shoot a Q&A. And hopefully uh, Gabby and Sophie will um, chime in and share their answers too because i've already seen some questions of like you know what are their goals and do you have goals sophie no yeah we're not really at the age yet <laughs> where we have goals so i we'll see don't you know that you're beautiful just the way you are
Don't you know that you're 